Where will they rank in the NFL? Because you look Ooh. at some secondaries in the NFL, I would make an argument, Sam, they're top 10 on paper. I do believe that. Even though it's hard to imagine it for a team who, at least for their secondary, one of the worst in the NFL. How in the hell can they go from one of the worst to a top 10 unit? Well, I'll tell you. They got depth. They got experience. They got playmakers. And they got guys that are versatile. Extremely versatile. Brian Branch, CJ Gardner-Johnson, Kirby. These guys you can line up essentially anywhere. Now, a lot of that depends on what does Emmanuel Mosley look like coming off his ACL injury? What does Tracy Walker look like coming off his Achilles injury? But I'm telling you right now, if those guys can return to their normal form... Sam, this secondary, with the defensive line getting better, a lot of young guys up there in the linebacker core, there's a lot of question marks, but that secondary is much, much better this season. It oh, will be, in my opinion, a top 10 unit. It is eons better. I mean, you, you, especially if each player, and not even each player, because that's obviously not realistic, but if the most important ones hit their ceiling going into next year. I mean, you look at Cam Sutton. He basically was a full season starter for the Pittsburgh Steelers, had the best year of his life, allowed a passer rating when targeted of under 70. I guess the only concern about him is, is he one of the top end, top end corners to lead your secondary? I don't know about that, but he is certainly very, very solid and can be locked down. And when you look at Emmanuel Mosley, when he played last year, and that's a big when he played because he didn't play much, he allowed a passer rating when targeted of less than 64, which is elite, wow. but he only played in five games. He's coming off of an injury. I don't know if he'd be able to do that over a full season, but hey, you never know. He was elite when he played. We look at CJ Gardner-Johnson, who despite playing only 12 games last year had six interceptions for an absurd per game average of half an interception per game that's actually amazing even if it doesn't sound amazing it is absolutely amazing and the fact that he was tied for the nfl lead in interceptions only playing 12 games phenomenal i guess one of his weaknesses would be what he brings in interceptions he's not quite as good in coverage same thing with kirby joseph you mentioned they have guys who can lock you down you have guys who can who can be versatile guys who are playmakers one of the king playmakers of all of course is none other than kirby joseph who forced six turnovers last season including three interceptions yes. of aaron Rodgers.